Well, hi everyone. Um, Ginger and I were hoping to show you how to do your at-home urinalysis. So, these are some of the things you should have in your uh, kit. You've got your your form, your um, chemical chemical reagent strip, and a pipette. Um, and so, I was just going to show you what you can do. Um, ideally, you would have uh, a refractometer, but obviously that would not fit in an envelope. So we'll just have to pretend there. Um, I've gone ahead and I've collected a urine sample from, from Ginger here. And so I've written on the form that you'll, you'll get the sticker, um, her name, the date, um, and um, that how I got it, free catch. And so you'll be doing the, um, the, the physical and the chemical part of a urinalysis. The third part, which is sediment, you would need the centrifuge um, and we'd use, you know, we'd use a tube like this so that if there's any sediment, it would collect at the bottom where I'm kind of pointing right now. But what we'll do first is, you know, we take it, we take a look at the urine. We look at the color. So her urine is just kind of a light yellow. Um, you'll see urine of all sorts of different colors. It can be, um, uh, even lighter yellow than that. It almost looks like water almost. That's very dilute or it can be very dark yellow. Sometimes you'll see it will be red or brown. Um, sometimes it can even be green or, um, or orange, but that's pretty rare. So we would, re we would record that it's a light yellow. We also want to note the clarity of it. Um, you can describe things as being clear or slightly cloudy or cloudy or the most, um, the most cloudy, we use the word turbid or flocculent. And it's a little bit arbitrary. If you can read through it, like we can read letters through it, um, um, then we're, we're gonna probably call it clear. Um, if it were turbid, then you can't see anything through it. Um, you wouldn't be able to, to read anything. Um, and it's kind of a judgment call between clear and turbid, um, whether, whether to call it slightly cloudy or cloudy, but we're gonna call this clear. We can see through it very, very easily. So I'll record that. Um, I'm gonna check the smell of it, make sure it doesn't smell like ammonia or, um, or have a fruity smell, and it just has a kind of a normal urine smell. Um, on this form here, under appearance, I'm gonna write, um, I'm just gonna write clear. And then under color, I'm just going to put light yellow. Okay, there's no there's no spot here for for um, for odor. Um, since you don't have the refractometer at home, we're just going to leave that specific gravity blank. And now let's do the um, the actual reagent dipstick. So here's the here's our dipstick. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. You don't have to do it this way, um, but I'm going to uh, take the cap off. I'm doing this one-handed. I'm gonna get my pipette, and I'm gonna grab some of the urine here. Okay, so I have it in my pipette. I'm just gonna saturate the strips here. So I'll just get those nice and wet. I'm gonna do this fairly quickly. Okay, might even mix it on there a little bit. And then um, I'm going to, once it's saturated on there, just kind of mix them on. Once, once they're on there, then I'm gonna take the whole thing and just kind of tap off all the excess. And then I'm gonna look at the clock. I wanna wait about 30 seconds and I'll start reading. I'm just putting the cat back on. Oh, you know, I forgot to invert it, that's okay. Okay, um, and so it's been about, I'm gonna wait about 10 more seconds here. And then if you look, they, I sent you home with basically a printed copy of this. This is the results. Yours is much bigger, of course, so it won't line up quite as well. But what I'm gonna do is, 
So I'm gonna take my strip and I'm lining it up. So the very bottom, sorry for the, hand, the poor camera work here. See that blue one lines up with glucose. So I'm just gonna line up everything and at the 30 second mark, I can read glucose and bilirubin and they're both negative. That's good. It's probably been 40 seconds, so I can read ketones, and you can see the ketones are negative. We do not use specific gravity on the, the dipstick. It's, it's not as accurate as the refractometer, so just ignore the specific gravity. Um, we can look at blood, and we can see that's negative. We can look at pH. It's not, if it were really orange, that would mean that it had a pH of five. Hers is not so orange. It looks maybe more like this one. That's like a 6.5 or so. So I'll write that, 6.5. And then protein, we can see that's negative. It pretty much looks like that. Now these last three, we ignore. 